Uh, Razoon. I, I want it to be raccoon. I like raccoons. Hey, Joshua, I want to get into FPV, and I'm thinking about getting the TBS Tango 2, DJI Goggles 2, and a 5-inch drone. Could you recommend that? And what 5-inch drone would you recommend? Thanks a lot. Um, I don't, like... I don't not recommend the TBS Tango 2, but I have to say the TBS Tango 2 runs Crossfire. The main, it's not that the TBS Tango 2 can't also do Express LRS with an external module adapter, it can, but the main reason to buy the Tango 2 is that you want to do Crossfire. So I, the first thing I would ask is why you're choosing to lock yourself into Crossfire when the vast majority of people in the hobby these days are going to Express LRS. And it's not just that, like, the crowd is always right, but there are reasons why the crowd is going that way. And I think you should make sure you are fully sort of aware of those reasons before you kind of lock yourself into Crossfire without knowing what maybe you're giving up. The Tango 2 is a solid controller. Um, yeah, the form factor is the, is the main thing it has going for it. Uh, and, of course, the built-in Crossfire. But it's a, it doesn't run uh, Edge TX. It runs Freedom TX, which is based on Open TX, but it means that firmware updates come from TBS, and that means that they're not always uh, up to date. When Edge TX releases new firmware, you don't sometimes don't get the the features and improvements. Uh, it has to sort of filter through TBS. Maybe you don't care about that. Um, and uh, the gimbals on it are the, the gimbals on the freaking Tango Two are the freaking Achilles heel of the whole thing. It's a great radio but they did something weird with the way the gimbals work and it means they constantly go out of calibration and you're constantly having to recalibrate them and it's it's uh like it's kind of like having some uh you know british sports car from the 80s like it's beautiful and wonderful and made with love but like a little temperamental i guess i would say uh what 5 inch drone do you recommend well, these days, I got to get the Emacs Eco added. So on my website, fpvknowitall.com, uh, I do have a section for 5-inch freestyle drones and parts. I actually got to add the Evo the iFlight Nazgul Eco, the, the, the cheap, the $200 one. Uh, that's a good choice. I just did a review of it. Joshua Bardwell, Nazgul Eco, the, the Nazgul Eco is worth a look. I've got a full review up on my channel, all these and I suggest you check that out. It's They actually raised the price. It's $215 now, not 200 but still one of the best deals in all of FPV. Another one uh, that you might consider is the Gepar C Mark V, uh, which is also quite good. Yeah, we have to replace the Nazgul V3 with the Nazgul Eco. In my opinion, that's the better deal, uh, just because it's a little less expensive. How's the Darwin 240 doing? Is that still? That's even a little cheaper still. I think the Eco is a better buy, even at $215. 15, it's like 20, 23 more. I think that's worth it. Anyway. 